From jam-packed Mackey Arena in its 25th anniversary year, it's the 6th-ranked Michigan Wolverines, 10-1 against the 9th-ranked 9-0 Purdue Boilermakers in the Big Ten opener for both teams. Let's take a look at our Nissan starting lineups for tonight's game. Michigan has a change. James Vosco will be starting for the first time this season. And then the rest of the lineup, the Fab Four tonight, Chris Weber, Jawan Howard, uh, Rose, and King will be in Michigan's starting lineup. Jalen Rose and, of course, Jimmy King. The shot by Howard was not as soft as you normally see him. For a big guy, he has a great touch. He got some size and bulk inside. Weber, who leads the Big Ten in block shots, gets his first look ahead to Jimmy King, and Michigan has tied the game. I'll tell you, Chris Weber has more blocks than the rest of his Michigan team. In fact, he has more blocks than the whole Purdue team does. Both teams really pressing him up defensively. You watch Jawan Howard. For a big guy, I think he plays defense as well as anybody I've seen. Now Colonzo Martin inside against Bosco. That one's off the glass and down. Colonzo Martin, a 6'6", 206-pound sophomore. He's not tall, but he gives him a lot of bulk in there. Purdue with its biggest lead at 5-2. to two. They're looking for Howard inside. He's a lone good pass. And Jawan Howard now has his first two. Again, one of the strengths of Chris Weber is he can shoot from the outside. If you don't come pick him up, he passes the ball exceptionally well. Purdue does go to the line an awful lot against most of the teams they play, uh, Tim. And again here, they're uh, way ahead. Two and a double team on Robinson to the weak side. Michigan with a tight defense. Matt Waddell for three. And Purdue has doubled up on Michigan at eight to four. Whistle inside. There's a foul against Purdue. Really a forced shot by uh, Rose there. Not a great shot. Over in the corner again, the shot up and down by Matt Waddell. That's a three-pointer. Two for him now. Six points for Waddell, and it's 11 to four. The makers with all that emotion. Weber, double team, puts it up and in. Chris Weber's first two. He's the Big Ten player of the week, and he's been sensational early on here with both ends of the floor. Michigan has, uh, you would have thought, had the advantage coming in. They played 10, maybe 11 people, and uh, Purdue pretty much 9. But uh, with the injuries for Michigan, it'll pretty much be even on the substitution end. Martin gets a little edge on Palenka, puts it up and no, and pulled down in there by Jimmy Kane. Robinson, a young mistake there. He doesn't want to go after the ball there because he's leaving. Should have, Michigan should have penalized him there. Jalen Rose around his man off the glass and down. Pretty move by Jalen Rose, who had 30 points in his Big Ten opener. Remember last January at Iowa when the Wolverines opened with a win in overtime at Iowa. Whistle inside. And Jawan Howard quickly has picked up his second foul. The last couple of games. He here is now who's going to guard uh, Robinson. There's a shot from the corner. That one's up and off by Matt Painter, and Michigan is running. Jalen Rose going to pull it up, and won't go tipped out by Polinka. Oh, smart play by Polinka. He knew he couldn't get the rebound, batted it out so they could gain possession. Michigan has scored four in a row here. I feel like Weber is your point guard on some of these moves. And the Polinka around his man, and a block will go against Purdue, and Polinka might have got away with a little something there. Boy, there are some physical players on this floor right now, George. They may not all be tall, but physical is certainly a key attribute for all for both these teams. Rob Palink has really had a difficult time from the foul line. He's one of the better foul shooters uh, for Michigan, but he's really struggled this year. 11-9, Michigan with five unanswered points here after falling behind 11-4. And when that one goes down, we'll have a timeout on the floor. Michigan off to a, with good shots, 57 to 44 percent. Boilermakers by one, but Michigan is on a six-point run. Michigan always does a good job of helping out inside. They just have to be aware of whoever's guarding the three-point shooters. Waddell particularly, you, have, you can't tag as much off of him to double team. Here's Glenn Robinson for three, and he pours it down. Glenn Robinson, six of Purdue's 14 points by their sensational sophomore. Riley, Rose. Riley takes the return pass. Nice touch by Eric Riley. Beautiful little post move. And Eric Riley has his first two. Now Michigan cuts it back to two. Now you got Weber and Robinson on each other here at Purdue's offensive end. There are the two players, the two years ago, the most heralded players in college basketball. Riley with that height advantage gets a block. 
Michigan to tie it up here inside, drive by Jimmy King. And the Wolverines now have come back from an 11 to 4 deficit. We are tied at 14. Michigan puts the ball up the floor real well. That was what you'd say an advantage there. You usually want your team to slow it down, but they just have such physical ability they are able to make uh, things very creative. And out of bounds, and Purdue gets it down. See Chris Weber again. His arms and his hands are so big, he just deflects balls that you normally wouldn't expect oh, him to. Boy, Garner misses the easy shot in front. Now King is wide open behind to Weber, but he was fouled first, which eliminates a highlight tape play. That's, that's a good know. foul right there. Again, they need uh, someone to hit that three-pointer for Michigan. That's the difference in the game right now. Outside Jimmy King for two, and he buries it. Six points for Jimmy King in a strong first half. He's Michigan's leading scorer. But Purdue's run of five ends. Again, it's interesting. I didn't think Riley to have a very good time with Robinson here, but with his height and his arm span, it helps a little bit. Shot up by Glenn Robinson back in the game. No, but it's put back up and in beautifully by Matt Painter. That's his first two. Rose sees an alley, goes down around his man. Too hard, tipped up and in by Eric Riley. Eric Riley, in my judgment, is a very unsung player on this team. He hasn't started as much of his career as he wanted to. And yet, when he's been in there for Michigan this season, he has contributed greatly. Well, we want to welcome all of our viewers from the uh, Detroit station here on our Raycom network that have had some technical difficulties. If you've just joined us, Purdue is leading Michigan now 21-20 to after Jalen Rose knocked that one down for his fourth point. Now Chris Weber is quoted in the Detroit Free Press today as saying he's not turning professional after this season. But Eric Riley, man, that one almost went in. Then it is tipped in. Is that Weber that yep. it? And Weber now with four points. And Michigan has its first lead of the night at 22 to 21. Not a good shot. Just really hurried that. He was off balance. Readjusted it in the air. That's not the kind of shot you need if you're going to catch up here in this gym. And the steal by Jimmy. You can bet he'll, he won't pass this one off. Jimmy King has had a big first half for Michigan. Eight points for King. And Purdue's lead has got the walk. I think this one's going to go this way the whole way unless something happens uh, that we're not foreseeing. Well, I tell you, Purdue's had everything going their way. They haven't shot particularly well, but the three-pointers have been in their favor and the foul shot. And baseline jumper by Kawanzo Martin. And Purdue again back up to a three-point lead. Four for Martin. Inside, Howard goes around Glenn Robinson. Nice fake and puts it in. Beautiful move by Jawan Howard. Four points for him, and Michigan again is down by just one. This little offensive foul. They call a push-off here against Kawanzo Martin. That's his second. Gene King, the man of a thousand expressions. Purdue usually is such a disciplined club that they've turned it over without the four stairs a lot of times here early in the first half. As you can see Michigan struggling from three-point range. Both teams at 42-41%. Post-up move, turn around. Riley, Eric Riley knocks it down. Six off the bench for him. He's really given him a big lift. Uh, Michigan again, the second lead of the game, and they've led by only one. All right, there is just one other Big Ten game being played tonight. They're at halftime in Evanston. Illinois 37, Northwestern 26. Illinois lost at Northwestern a year ago. A lion eye by 11. And don't forget that we'll see Illinois at Michigan State here on Raycon 8 o'clock Saturday night. We talked about how strong Riley's look. This is the best I've seen him play since uh, he was a sophomore. Well, nobody's within four inches of him on the floor. Here's Cornelius McNary with a foul away from the play. All right, Eric Riley and Jimmy King have been the Michigan heroes in the first half and combined for 14 of the Wolverines, 28. And Eric Riley rips the net for seven points here. Eric has really had a game tonight here in the first half, and what a force he might be in this Big Ten season. He's a senior now. Went to the same high school that Elvis Gerback did in Cleveland. So Riley hits them both. Eight points for Elvis. Here's Bosco back in. And off the bench now, Riley equals Michigan's high point uh, player in this game. Almost hate, to almost hate to mention this. They've been talking about how lousy the Big Ten's been this year from the foul line. They've yet to miss a foul shot, either team. Riley's uh, high so far this season. 
is 13 against Nebraska. He already has eight points. Purdue right now needs a basket in a bad way. Michigan has a way of really putting a lot of points in a row on the board, and Purdue really needs a basket desperately. Here. This is Michigan's biggest lead of the night, three at 30 to 27. Inside, though, and it's quickly back to one. Nice shot by Cornelius McCary, his first two. And Michigan at 30 to 29. Great uh, drive and assist by Waddell. Michigan really needed to stay away from those players in there. Pass to Riley, not there by Jalen Rose, and Purdue back the other way. Here's Glenn Robinson. Juwan Howard has been on him for much of this half. Done a pretty good job, too. They let Robinson try a three. And Rose with a board. Fife up again, uh, getting some instructions. Weber waiting to come in. They told Jawan Howard to shoot. He does, and it falls in. Good bounce for Jawan Howard. Six points for him, and again, Michigan equals his biggest lead of the night. That was bordering on being on the outside of his range, and I think that's why they got a couple of people coming in. They want to keep everybody fresh if they can. Painter gets a good pass inside, tipped away by Basta beautifully on the turnover, and now Michigan going back down, trying to increase its lead. This is where they need to really run a good offense here and poise it up. Rose with a beautiful move, baseline Jalen Rose with six. And Michigan's lead at five, it's biggest of the night at 34 to 29. Michigan's done the good job uh, on boards and Purdue is really struggling with its shooting as George said earlier. Weber inside, gets a little easy lay in, six for Chris. You can't back up that easily against him, he'll eat you up if you let him you know, put that George little shoulder. The athletes even with the big guys, but I don't know if you had Howard and Weber down on the blocks, how you'd stop him. I don't know how you could physically stop him. I don't either. Here's Glenn Robinson, who has been off a little bit here with his shot, and then they bounce it off each other and out of bounds. But for Michigan, they're a lot better off letting him have that three-pointer than they are having him go down inside. Well, they ask him to do a lot, and he takes a lot on himself. Beautiful high feed from Taylor Crow. Got to be real careful right now. This could be a, the run Michigan's been waiting for. 38-29, Michigan with its biggest lead of the night. They have really fought back from that early 11-4 deficit. There's no question they have superior size. See, the problem with Purdue is they will not get any easy shots on the inside unless they get some kind of penetration drive. Waddell shot, no. Kawanzo Martin on the putback. That's off. And saved by Michigan. Eric Riley again. No, 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 no. He didn't carry that. Weber with a good job, but they call it travel. And there's the turnover again. There again, I think, is where Chris Weber's got to learn to get the ball out again. Wolverines have played hard. A lot of mistakes, but they've dominated the fours. They don't want to be in a hurry right now. Which they are, but Rose buries it for three. Jalen Rose with nine. Michigan on a big run. 41-29. to 29. The Wolves are 30-29. For 11 straight points for Michigan. Purdue looks a little bit confused here offensively. Juanzo Martin goes up and finally puts it down. Couldn't be any closer to him than uh, Bosco was. That was a big basket for him. Michigan would love to win here and go to Wisconsin and get a win, and that'd be a payback after a loss there a year ago. Now they get the ball back. Rose with a play, but inside should be a way for stand back and it in. Just what you said, uh, George, Michigan needs to be patient, and of course they're not. And now with 41 seconds to go, the shot clock will not be a factor here, so Michigan can play for a last shot and oh. try to keep at least an eight-point lead. What a six-second spread. They had a 12-point lead cut to eight. Steve Fisher wants him to bring it out here. Yeah, but they should have run the clock like this the last time, Steve, and taken the time off there. And that, that's the thing that disturbs me a little bit sometimes about Michigan because they aren't patient when they should be. Rose says, time for me. No, and Purdue with four seconds to go. Has Martin open deep if they can get it to him, and it's tipped away by Jalen Rose with two-tenths of a second to play in the first half. Rob Polenka will be on the line. The good news for Purdue is he's a 38% free throw shooter. Polenka's made five out of 13 this season, but he's two for two tonight. Well, let me tell you, Tim, he's one of their better foul shooters. He's really struggled for some reason this year. He's, he's, if I had my choice, I'm not sure I wouldn't want him on the line. Now, as we say, he's made two. There hasn't been a missed free throw in the game, and as I say that, watch the jinx. Polenka now three for three. So in this game, Purdue is 8 of 8 in Michigan, 5 for 5. You watch his form. He's got a great stroke on the ball. Michigan now hoping to get the 10-point lead here to go into the locker room at the half. They will get it. 
A 10-point margin here in the final moments, and that's the end of the first half. And a good half for the Michigan Wolverines. No one has scored here in the first 50 seconds of the second half. Having said that, shot outside won't go by Ian Stanback. And that's not the kind of shot that you expect there in order to get your team back either. Jimmy King for three. No, but look all over the boards. Bosco saves it. Loose on the floor and Howard to Weber. Is this going to be sensational? It is. Chris Weber, you saw it coming. That's just too much physical presence for Michigan inside. Well, and again, the longer you give him to get ready, uh, the worse it's going to be for him. They get the double team on Glenn Robinson. That leaves Waddell for three, and he cans it. That's the same thing that happened the first half, uh, Tim. They got him on the side there. You cannot double team that much away from him. Bosco cannot leave him that open. Matt Waddell with three three-pointers, 11 points. Weber posts his man and puts it in. Easy as you please. Ten for Chris Weber. It is a racket in here. And it's getting even louder with every Purdue basket. Inside Palenka. And the ball is thrown away. Four turnovers on this. Glenn Robinson. Thirteen points for Glenn Robinson. And Michigan's ten-point lead at halftime is cut to four. Listen to this crowd. The problem is Michigan has not gotten any shots and Purdue has really picked up the tempo defensively. They got Weber in a low post where they need him. Kenny Roy, beautiful dish to Howard. Howard can't score it. Weber gets it back. Weber over his man and puts it in. He's fouled and the basket will count. I've said, George, I've seen him play two years. You have got to get Chris Weber the ball in the low post. He's almost unstoppable in my estimation. Oh, I agree with it. It's all the points for Michigan to come from Weber. Look at him. He's just such a presence on the inside. No, he's just so strong, uh, and, and again, you have to appreciate what uh, what Fisher tries to do. Here's a reverse angle of it. He just, how do you stop him from there? 6'9", he's, he's just a horse on the inside. The key's to get it in there to him, and if you can do it, you, most likely you're at least going to put him on a line. But well, for a lot of teams, they'd like to do that. Well, that's true. He really struggled. He shoots better from three-point range than he does from the foul line, but watch how he buries the ball in his hand when he shoots foul shot. His hands are so big. Yeah. That one he made. Time out on the floor, 15.49 to play. Michigan 50, Purdue 43. Herb Dub, 21, the freshman in the game again. Dub on Polenka, pulls up, gets good help defense from Chris Weber on the baseline. Glenn Robinson, up in foul, basket count. Jawan Howard has his third foul. Three fouls on Jawan Howard. Oh, to Drew New Iron, no iron. Purdue with a chance to cut it to two or one. Painter drives up and lays it up right there. Matt Painter, listen to the crowd again. Seven for Painter, five in the second half. And now it's a two-point Michigan lead. That will get Riley back in the game, and they need him. Another bad pass by Howard out of bounds. Oh, Jalen Rose with the elbow. And that oh, he said he grabbed him. He didn't elbow him. He said he grabbed him. I uh, don't understand that one. But and then Robinson outside. 14-34 to play. Michigan with a two-point lead. Robinson tackled by Riley, and there's the steal. Whistle foul called. And Glenn Robinson picks up a foul in the backcourt for Purdue, and that is now his third foul. He gets a little mad at him, but doesn't really argue with him. Down the lane goes Jalen Rose with a hook up. Off, no. Shots won't fall for Michigan in the second half. And out of there somehow. Good move by Matt Payton. Not a good shot again. Three Michigan guys back on defense. Glenn Robinson. 18 for Robinson. And now we have a tie game. 50-50. Michigan led 41-29 late in the first half. And they've been outscored 21 to 9 now. 21 to 9, but a foul goal against Purdue's uh, inside man, Cornelius McNary. And here come the smiles. And here's Eric Riley, Michigan's leading free throw shooter this season at 78%. Boy, they are in sync with the free throws on this basketball floor tonight. Riley now with nine points. First one in the second half. Just like that, 52-50 Michigan. 21 straight free throws made by both teams in this game without a miss. Dove 
moving on Bosco inside, puts up an off-balance shot, not a good one either, good defense by Bosco, and Michigan pulls it away. Rose spinning into the lane around this man, is that a charge? Yes, Jalen Rose. He just has no patience offensively. He should just run it a little bit there, they've been struggling anyway. And again, even though he has all that talent, look at that. 13 minutes to play, Wolverines with a two-point lead. Waddell moves on to Lincoln, goes in good. Help defense by O'Reilly with a block. This team is well coached. You see him lean in whenever any Roberts is shot. Not the best shot. They throw it out. Third try at it. That one's no good. Robinson puts it up and in. He's fouling up at the top. The Purdue can go in front. They got four shots at the basket that time. It's great to fly at those guys and give them trouble, but you got to remember there's a rebound that has to be made afterward. 21 for Glenn Robinson. He's over his average. And now Purdue has regained the lead at 53 to 52. Weber's going to go inside. And he has stopped in there by McNary. Whistle inside the floor to follow his goal on Porter Roberts, I believe. Uh, that was a good foul. This team was going to get a basket there if he didn't. And he has made all of his free throws. Excellent job by both of these coaches getting some fresh people in the game and resting their better players. Weber for three. Chris Weber, who is lighting it up in the second half. He has 16 points, 10 in the second half, and Michigan back up by two. It's been the Robinson Weber show just as everybody uh, advertised this one going in. So Martin and Eric Riley really helping on defense. Runs to the weak side there and manages to intimidate that shot. Okay. Well, we got 24 straight by both teams here. Glenn Robinson shot is away. Painter, this is what I call an air ball. 35 feet in the air down. Here comes Weber. Is he going to win the race? He is. Reverse slam. Well, that'd be the play of the game later on because that gave Michigan the lead there at 57-55. we got to give you a play of the game later on. We're trying to find her when there's been so many good ones. When they're running around outside, throwing it up off balance, that's when they seem to struggle. But again, both teams just outstanding on defense. It's easy to see why they hold their teams to right around 40% accuracy. Yeah. Yeah. This they give 110% all the time. Michigan sometimes plays like the shot clocks in the NBA, where I guess a lot of these guys are headed anyway, because they'll get it off of 424 seconds. Whistle foul, that'll go against Michigan. Is that Jimmy King? Yep, his first. Unbelievable. As hard as he plays, that's his first foul. But then he's on he's on defense after that, and even if he doesn't foul him there, if Painter doesn't get a shot, he's got somebody to dish it off if the big guys switch off on him. Once it starts leaking, look out. Is this is it contagious? <laughs> Nine points for Painter. He has seven in the second half there. This can tie the game at the 923 mark. see what Michigan tries to do offensively. Well, Weber inside. There's where they want to go. Howard around his man. It's, it's that simple, George. You get it inside, they're going to score because they got too much strength up front. Plus, you see he's squared up. And Chris Weber, again, you got to be aware of him. And he just does a good job of getting the ball inside to Howard where he's effective. I swear he can make that shot eight or nine out of ten times. That little post move on the baseline. Howard is very good at that. Eight points for Jawan Howard. Michigan by three. We're down to 8.51 to go. Oh, Dugan Fife almost for the steal. He's great on defense. You see him. He's going to be a great player for you. He's Michigan. Boy, they're showing a lot of confidence in that freshman. Shot way outside. Number two. two by Glenn Robinson. He now has 13 in the second half. 24 points tonight. Bosco for three. Weber with a rebound. Underneath. There's Howard. He lays it up and in. Great, great play. Unbelievable. How in the world did he ever get that ball, much less find Jawan Howard underneath? Great job. Another assist for Weber. And on the road, you know, you don't know if they're going to go. And inside, their percentage is so much higher as they've proven time and again. Here's Kawanzo Martin, dumps it off. Inside, slam, dunk, curb, dub. Four for the freshman. Purdue leads at 62 to 61. What made that shot was the penetration by the guard on the inside. Third ranked Michigan trying to get the win here tonight on a road. Here's Jawan Howard puts it up and in. 12 points for Howard. Michigan by one. 63 to 62. Back and forth it goes. Inside seven minutes. 
It was all Weber in the first part of the second half. Now he seems to be a little bit slow and tired, and Jawan Howard's picked up the pace. There's Glenn Robinson against Howard. It's going to be a photo finish. Glenn Robinson takes the three, and it won't go, and Galen Rose pulls down a rebound for Michigan. That was good strategy there. I'm not sure he's going to beat you with an NBA three at this point. Howard looking for Weber. That's what they want, and there's the basket. Every single time they can get that. Boy, what a big night for Weber. 20 points for Chris Weber. Michigan with a three-point lead. Ruben Fife is on Matt Waddell. Back outside, pulling up in and out, no good. It's pulled down by Jawan Howard. Be easy now, Jalen. Boys it up, boys it up. Rolls all the way, lays it up, and then he's fouled on a basket count. He has a flair for the dramatic like few players in college basketball. Now here's Jalen Rose on the line with 11 points. He has not been to the line yet tonight. Jalen Rose gets Michigan a 68 to 62 lead, and the Wolverines are on a seven point run. They want the Michigan's defense to come out and harass the Purdue guards. Hader and Waddell. They've got their starters back in there now for Purdue. Here's Glenn Robinson over Howard, and he buries it. Boy, that's a big time shot by Glenn Robinson. He's getting close to his career high, and Michigan's lead is four with five and a half minutes to play. Jalen Rose has that walk, but he's going into Howard. Howard looking for Weber inside. There's his shot. He buries it. Boy, you, look at, you look at the shot sheet after the game. Just check out Howard and Weber inside with those baskets. Michigan back by six. Who doesn't have the scores from there that Michigan has. See, they double team their man here and stand back in. Too much to throw it away. That's yeah, smart, Jawan. Just take the time. Good ball handler to Jalen Rose. The Jalen inside of Dugan. Well, you know he'll dish it off. See, if Fife wasn't a freshman there and had a little confidence, he'd have had that basket easy there. But that wasn't an all-bad move because I think right now they got to run the clock here a little bit since they're behind. Jalen from 22 feet and it won't go. Boy, that was a long one, but Fife on the three-point rebound. Michigan gets a fresh 45. They really need a basket here if they're going to try and get this one in their favor. And if they do, I'm sure Purdue will call timeout. Fife, they aren't even going to guard him. He's taken three shots all year, one of them tonight, which missed badly. Where's the shot clock? 25, almost stolen. Seems like they've had it forever. That's the longest possession ever. Weber for three is short. And again, Michigan with the offensive board. That was our sick tracer. The key for Michigan has been the offensive glass. Gene Katie fires his coat down in disgust. They'd have been taking a little more time here. This game would be down two minutes stretch. Michigan can get a ball here a little bit. They want to run some clock. Howard posts his man and buries it. He's unstoppable. I think Purdue needs a timeout. 72 to 64. Let's check our Pepsi big play of the night. And it's when uh, Michigan gets at the paint, and here's a key play. Well, and again, you watch this. A lot of times you like the dunks, but watch this. Bosco misses a shot on the outside. Weber goes up amongst three people, gets the ball, and I don't know how he finds Howard. He goes in and lays it in. I think that's just a great shot right there. Remarkable statistic will tell you in a moment. Shot no good. Rolls with a rebound. 11 of Michigan's 12 field goals that come in the paint by Weber. And Howard now make a 12 out of 13 as Chris Weber pounds down his 22nd point. Big assist there by uh, Dugan. Fife. Tell you, there's only been four points for Michigan this half that haven't come from Howard or from Chris right. Weber. Unbelievable. 12 out of 13 field goals in the second half from Howard and Weber inside. Shot finally rolls around by Matt Painter. That ends a long dry spell for Purdue. Dugan Fife has had some quality minutes here. Well, he gives them what they need. He's not going to ever take a bad shot in this situation. He's going to run clock. If it's the last two times they did it, it's because he's settled them down and done that. I think he's going to be a great point guard for Michigan. Shot clock is at 10 now. Here's Jawan Howard inside. Boy, what a game Jawan Howard has played tonight. In the second half, he has 12 points, 18 for the night. He and Weber have put on a clinic here late in the game. Two minutes to go, Michigan by 10. Wolverines go to Wisconsin Saturday, come home to play Indiana on Tuesday night in their Big Ten home opener. Will the place be rocking or what? Matt Painter way off Weber with a rebound. Michigan, five on one. Howard, 
Weber, King lays it up and in. Four guys touch that ball coming down. Well, for Jimmy King, Purdue wants timeout with a minute 45 to go. That might have been the blow that put it away for Michigan over Purdue. But I'll tell you, Purdue is a proud club, and they are undefeated, and they have full games out at the wire. But maybe not against the number three team in the nation of this caliber. We'll see. Michigan's defense has been tough here in the second half at about the 15-minute mark. I think you're right, too, George. And they put Dugan Fife in the game. That took a shooter out of there. Here is Fife. They don't need a ball for him. Whistle, they had to foul. So they'll start putting Michigan on the line. Matt Painter picks it up. He just, uh, in the beginning of the second half, when Purdue made that run, he was the only one who was doing much of anything. Dugan Fife is a 53% free thrower. That'll help out a little bit. Michigan still has not missed a free throw. 11 of 11 for the Wolverines tonight. Minute 19 to go, Michigan by 13, Michigan by 14 points. Boy, they have really played well here the last 10 minutes. Of, the last 10 minutes of each half, Michigan really turned it up. And I think that's, too, because of the fact that you don't have as much depth for Purdue uh, as Michigan does. Here's Glenn Robinson for three. And Weber just gets his 14th rebound. Two on one. Rose. King lays it up. No, that won't go, but the clock will keep running, and we're at a minute to play. Glenn Robinson is in traffic now, and Michigan will get it. Rose is fouled. And Glenn Robinson could do a little more than that. But Glenn Robinson has played a superb game here tonight. Here's Jalen Rose on the line, who has redeemed himself a bit. He has 12 points, three in the second half. 53 seconds to play. Michigan by 14 points as the crowd starts filing out of here. And they were scalping tickets at 100 bucks out here. There's Michigan's first miss from the line tonight. Team Katie has sat down. I believe uh, Purdue is ready to concede here. They'll get another shot at Michigan later on. But Weber, another block shot. He leads the Big Ten. He's got three in the night. Waddell over King. That's a block shot. Inside, Purdue just can't get it to go in the last five minutes. Showtime. Uh, Rose isn't going to slow this one down. King, Weber is fouled. Great presence of what's going on around him. 22 points for Chris Weber tonight. Michigan can relax here with 26 seconds to go. Well, Gene Cady's team will go to Minnesota on Saturday, and that won't be easy either. That's Michigan State. Michigan goes to Wisconsin and comes home to play Indiana next Tuesday night. Michigan suddenly misses three in a row, but at this point, doesn't mean much. Howard, I believe, gets that foul. Now Jalen Rose goes up off the glass. No, Glenn Robinson coming back. Purdue maybe one last rush. Inside, Painter puts it up. No. And we'll play it out. Michigan will go to 11 and 1. Purdue will go to 9 and 1. And Painter lays it up, and that'll go, and that'll probably be the ball game, and it is. Final score tonight Michigan 80, Purdue 70. Steve Fisher shakes hands with Gene Kenny and the Boilermakers, and the Michigan Wolverines are off and rolling in the Big Ten schedule.